Hi, I'm Barbara North. I'm with Shaw Edmonton, and I know you are totally jealous of my apparel. I know, fashion's in, but you know what else is in? Reading and writing, and I have two authors with me today. Mark Kozu. Hello. And Lorna Schultz-Nicholson. Hello. And also guitarist Alfred Shungi. <laughs> Awesome. We are going to do the weirdest three-minute literary event in history. It's a weird-off write-off right here on Shaw Edmonton. Okay, let's go for it. I'm going to do, instead of a puck drop, it's going to be a book drop, and we're off. This is the story of the lobotomized ghost. Well, Puckster stared at the Jumbotron. His team was down 2-1 to one to the Backyard Bunnies, and there was only a minute left to play. Team Canada was on a timeout. <laughs> When the boys were playing in the basement, through the walls, they heard a sound. Eee, weird! The whinnying of a horse. <laughs> and I'm going to add in a line just to mess up our literary work. Here we go. The next line is, every ingredient has a story. The best meals we've ever tasted come from honestly sourced ingredients. OK, well, Puckster glasses, pals, and Charlie slurp water, and Rolly sat on the ice, and Sarah's shoulder sat, and Manny <laughs> dozed in a sled, and Francois <coughs> coughed, and he sniffled. She had coughing. What do you got? Next, they went into one of the bedrooms. Wrong move. Ooh, that's kind of good. I'm adding another line. Okay, here's my parking ticket. Place this card face up on dash. Okay, yeah. Well, when the referee dropped the puck, a bunny picked it up and zoomed towards the Team Canada net. Well, Puckster gave chase, but his legs felt heavy and he had trouble catching up. Okay, next line. All right, here it is. Do include a good photo. Not posting a photo is not a good idea. Use a digital camera. I can't beat that. That is so, that's, you that's can. pure literature. Ah, you're right. Okay, back in the early days of Edmonton, one of the ways a person showed they were well to do was by showing off their pineapples. <laughs> oh, here's my pineapples. Okay, actually, I'm going to add a special line of literature. Here we go. Uh, Barb was here. I <laughs> top that. Okay, well, I, I'm still so nervous, but Puxer quickly stopped and he changed directions. Pass to Francois, he yelled, he'll have a breakaway. But just as Francois was about to receive the puck, he coughed and he tripped and he fell. Oh, violence already. I love it. Okay, well, not exactly, but okay, final words, final words. Final words. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, I my Team Canada lost the game. Oh. <laughs> Guitar solo. <laughs> Okay, if you want to check out these books, Mark Kozeb, Weird Edmonton, yeah, product placement, Lorna Schultz Nicholson, many books, and your latest is Fragile Bones. <laughs> check it out. Okay, watch the show. This is the weirdest literary event in history. Yay! <laughs> 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 <laughs>